Yes. Spying on me. Okay. Where are we at? We are at the. I don't know. We're at the Global BEM somewhere Global in Texas. BM. Yeah, that's not Texas. I struck. <clears throat> so, I'm going to get the name wrong, but I tried to remember from yesterday. I think it could potentially be Christian. James. Oh, God, I was so far. I'm sorry. I'm a fail. Oh, I'm a fail. I remembered your name, though. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's D, and then, uh, and then I know, I forgot, it's I know what it is, but, university. yeah, I know. I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but I know the name. Mm. That's right. Thank you. Because I did, I, I can't, yeah. I'm doing well. I'm doing really well with this shot. Hi, come on in. Mm. You need everybody? We are just uh, checking out some really awesome machine work. I've got two tungsten carbide rods that, I, that go in the middle of this. And I can put gas in here. Um, I'll pull my vacuum here. And I can release the pressure and put other gases in here. And I can put my electricity through here and so it's not synced with the whole piece. And put different gases in there and play with the sparks. And and you can vacuum rods in and out? Yes, yeah. I can Very adjust nice. the gap in there. These are Teflon, big nice insulator. You can put a little squeeze or a little, or a little vacuum in there. Yeah, you can put pressure or vacuum in different gases. And you machined all these pieces. You they look fantastic. The whole, entire thing. They look fantastic. Yes, they do. And it's not finished, of course. No, it's not. This yeah, is I, just the, this was the Friday or something you yeah, said. Yeah, <laughs> I finished, got this far yesterday. <laughs> Are you going to make sure that the, that this stays in this? Yes, I have to build a clamp to hold everything together. If I pull a vacuum on it, it stays together. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't move back. Yeah. Well, I love the, I love that idea so, of threading in and out. Yeah, yeah, the adjustment. Like vacuum. Vacuum. Uh, yeah, have you pulled the vacuum on it yet? I haven't had a chance oh. to pull the vacuum on it yet. Still in testing phases, yes. like development phases. So development. what's Oh, sorry. So, what is the, the 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 experiment? Is what I want to know. Playing with Tesla coils. Plasma. Yes, plasma. Electrical plasma. discharge. Yes. Vacuum. Different gases. All that fun Should stuff. Should definitely try hydrogen. Yeah. Put some safety glasses on. <laughs> what's the, what's you get the a little air in there with that hydrogen. It's not so nice. Does it matter what this kind of material is? No, I've got. Uh, I have. Tungsten carbide inserts to where it won't burn up this metal. Show mm -hmm. the show the, the insides of it where you drilled out the, the points. Drilled out the points. The, where the tips will fit in there. Show one of the tips. Yeah, set it down. That's good. Okay. Awesome. So the tungsten carbide is going to put in the metal so it doesn't burn the regular mm -hmm. yes. steel up. But you could buy stainless threaded rod and any other type of brass or anything you want to put yes. in there. Uh, I'm going to so make that's good. Uh, aluminum bronze. This when you're done, I, I got it. So I'm making these out of aluminum bronze, so it's a little bit more conductive. Nice work. Yeah, that was really my question. Does it Conductivity. matter uh, that it works better, that it flows better? It, uh, yes, and you're not using your, your, your typical... Uh, yes. And these are just end mills, but that's basically what it's going to... These are just end mills. These oh, aren't yeah, exactly you could use, what, you could that's use, carbide. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, think about using end mills for that stuff. Yeah. I have a lot of broken ones. What do you do, <laughs> what do, you do with the bits? Freaking electrodes. That's genius. That's resources right there. Nice work. Yeah, these are dull ones from work. Yep. I have, Congratulations. Mine are not dull. Mine are all snapped off. <laughs> I don't get to dulling them. I get to just Those breaking. <laughs> they break. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, nice work. So, fantastic. Hey, thanks for coming. Thank you. And visiting and spending thanks some time. Thanks for showing Heck yeah. Who inspires you to do this? That's a good question. I've been doing a whole lot of research recently, and this is kind of my idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> but in, but in general. Plus stuff with vacuum chambers and stuff. In general, where do you get your inspiration? I do a lot of research on YouTube stuff, and then I've done a whole lot of research on Tesla. <laughs> It's a good place to start. Still learn, always learn. Oh, I'll be learning the day I die. Yep.
So, so the layman's question, if you have the process going inside, how are you going to get it outside? Uh, uh, the, the effect uh, that is generating power. Well, I can, uh, how are you going to hook that up? I, I think, let me try to answer this. I think this is more just for experimentation purposes yes. of okay. vacuums and gases. And like being able to visually see what's happening under an arc oh, okay. yes. in the environment that whatever you're going to use so, it with. So it's more like an educational tool. Yes. Well, that's great. And that's that's the best way. The uh -huh. too. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's a great idea, yeah. Yeah, that's the best way is build a teaching apparatus and play with it a lot. That's yeah. much better than trying to make a finished product when you start. It's much easier to to, to learn this way. So nice work. Thank you. Da, 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 da. You ready? I don't know the brain fart. <laughs> <laughs>